Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in and watching. This video is going to be geared more for the beginner guitarist. Uh, I'm going to go over four chords. It's going to be a G, a C, an E minor, and a D. Um, these chords you can play just about anything or create anything with. Um, if you have a capo, you can play in any key and just capo it al along the neck. Uh, but this is this will get you started So what does the G chord look like? Well, here's the G chord and We're gonna take our middle finger Right here. I'm not gonna actually flip you off because I don't do that, but we're gonna take this finger third fret first string or your E string we're gonna take our pointer We're gonna put it on the second fret second string or a string and then we're going to take our ring finger we're going to put it on the third fret bottom string or our high e string and that is a g chord right there let's go to the c How I form this chord is I'm taking my ring finger and putting it on the second string, third fret. We're taking the middle finger, putting it on the third string or our D string on the second fret. And we're taking our pointer and putting it on the fifth string or our B string, first fret. That's our C chord. E minor chord is a little bit easier. We're going to take our uh, pointer, put it on the second fret A string or the second string, and we're going to take our middle finger. We're going to put it on the second fret again, but this time it's going to be on our third string or our D string. All the rest of the strings are open. So that's E minor. Now we're going to go to the D. Alright, D chord. Pointer. Second fret. That's going to be the fourth string from the top, or our G. We're going to take our ring finger. We're going to put it on the third fret. 5th string or B and then we're going to take our middle finger we're going to put it on the 2nd fret 6th string or the high E string and this is our D chord so here's our G chord here's our C Here's our E minor. Here's our D. So let's string all those chords together and uh, see what we get. So there you go. You got four chords. Let's try it again. You got four chords um, that we just went through. That should get you started. Um, just play around with those. Have some fun. I mean, that's the biggest thing with guitar is just having fun, jamming out, and uh, and growing. So the best advice I can give uh, before I kind of shut this video down is, you know. Uh, Find you a group of people that you can jam with and learn from. There's also free resources here on YouTube. Uh, you can go tune in to uh, Paul Davids. He's got some good videos. Uh, Samurai Guitarist has some good videos. Uh, music, I think it's Music for the Win has some good videos. There's a lot of good videos going over beginner basics uh 
also some going over theory and things like that and core theory and all that. But really, as a beginner, I think the things to focus on really is just learning your chord shapes uh, and their names and then learning uh, strumming. Just have fun with it, man. Uh, that being said, thanks for watching. Keep practicing.